season! Reach for the stars, wild ones! It's Bernadette, and I'm here with your Virgo Tarot reading for March 2021. And I, this is, oh, 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 this is going to be so fun, because your motto this month, Virgo, is, yeah, let them underestimate me. That'll be fun, which falls in perfectly with your, um, you know, with your motto, which is I analyze. So throughout this whole month, you, you're going to want to be prepared to defend your viewpoints on things, but because you come from such an analytical place, you've dotted your I's, you've crossed your T's, you've checked, you've rechecked, you've ripped it all apart and gone through the whole process again, and you are fierce this month, which is cool because um, your uh, tarot card uh, for this month for your zodiac sign is actually the uh, oracle card, the mantis shrimp. Now, um, that, you might take a look at it and go, shrimp? What? What is that even? What? But there is a kind of shrimp, a mantis shrimp, that is so powerful. They pack literally, literally such a wallop when they throw a punch that you can't keep them in, in regular home-sized fish tanks because they've been known many, many times to crack the glass. They want out, they're going to get out. And if I remember correctly, I believe that when they ball up their, their little claws and they then they pull that punch, I think it goes like 100 miles an hour. It is no joke. So that's you. You're the mantis shrimp which is cool, especially if you're a little bit diminutive in stature, you know, maybe you're not the tallest person in the world, or maybe you're like a bit of a, um, uh, an introvert, or you might be shy, but the bottom line is whatever, whatever component of yourself that people just would never see this coming, <laughs> make sure that's what you face to the world this month, because, um, you might need some extra oomph because you're going to be breaking down barriers. And what that means is whatever these views are that you're going to be defending so wholeheartedly, um, you, you are going to need a, a boost for that because it's all about breaking down barriers for yourself, for society at large, for the world. And it's like um, that's going to so work to your advantage because you're going to be able to keep others guessing. You can keep a secret very, very well. And you are actually your own secret weapon. So again, all of those things that might make others think that you, you know, maybe you're not as powerful uh, as, you know, they may not think of you as powerful as you know you are. <laughs> Let them think that. Yes. Okay. Now, that said, you've also got to be willing to come out swinging um, when the time calls for it, because this is going to be an intense month, month and keeping up with changes is not something you may want to do alone. You know, luckily you can draw on mantis shrimp as your spirit totem and power animal. And it will, that's a reminder to draw on the strength, <clears throat> pardon me, and call in the strength of your faithful allies. But that also means the two-legged peoples too, humans. So if you've got, you know, I mean, I'm sure you do, you've got to have people in your corner. Um, and it, and it, I bet you have more, more people willing to go to bat for you than you might be willing to ask for help. It's not that they wouldn't. You might feel a little hinky about asking them for help. Stop that. You've got to take them up on their offers. You've got to reach out because this, whatever this change is that you're going to bring on, it's beautiful and it's no joke and the world needs you. It needs your courage right now. So the month begins with um, an air grand trine um, between moon and Libra and Libra in Aquarius and true node in Gemini. So your planetary ruler is hovering close to Jupiter and Saturn and Aquarius now, and this trine brings luck, but it also brings challenges to your sense of comfort. You, you know, you're kind of a little bit like Taurus. You don't really like to change Virgo. So, uh, you know, because of this, March is going to challenge you to be more adaptable. Um, some intense activity in Taurus may shake up your plans and ideas that you thought were solid. But from the 5th to about the 16th, planetary activity shifts into... Um, centering in the pine of, uh, in the sign of Pisces. So, <clears throat> pardon me, that, that may come as, as a relief for you because you can more un easily understand energy, Pisces energy than Aquarius energy. It's softer, it's more malleable, it's less erratic, it's less intense. And Pisces is also your opposing sign. So while the second half of the month may seem more liberating, you may still have to face issues that challenge your sense of security, stretch you outside of your comfort zone. Just, just try to allow the more creative into your life. Let it just flow through all your chakras. And don't be, you know, try not to be so intense on analyzing every little thing. Just let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, right? Even sing that song to yourself. Even, like, start to channel John Lennon. So, um... Now, here's the thing. A big challenge for you this month is going to be to determine what points are worth fighting for, like pick your battles, and what issues you really can be flexible on. When you can be flexible without undermining yourself, please try to adapt to the um, expectations. Again, keep your eye on the prize. You're leading up to something really large. So really, do you want to win a bunch of battles or do you want to win the war? 
kind of like that. Now, on the 16th, um, Mercury enters Pisces, and this can help you become more aligned emotionally and logically. And then um, as the 20th approaches, uh, Mercury comes into a square with a lunar node in Gemini, and this really can create frustrations um, about how you think and how you're communicating your ideas on what you're being called to do. So just try to have a more open mind. Again, be more adaptable, more flexible, more little, not malleable, but just flexible. Um, be Gumby, darn it. Just be Gumby. Or like one of those, one of those wind socks that you see at a car dealership. Do that. It'll and, and send me video and send me video of that, please. So um, new ideas uh, may make you feel threatened and they might challenge you, but try try not to take the innovations, the changes, and the surprises personally. It's not about that. It's about the universe, mantis shrimp, all your allies, you know, everything going on astrologically, it's really trying to help you move grace, gracefully through to that really amazing thing that you're going to stand up for. And it could even be life changing for you, the people around you, and definitely for the world. Now, from um, the 20th through the end of the month, you may need to make your point clear to yourself first before stating your case to others. And that's why it's really, um, really important that you let the creativity come through because in all your analyzing, you may miss a really big chunk of uh, something super important in your chain of, of events or your, you know, your, your building blocks or whatever you're trying to figure out. And um, you, you've got to be ready to assert yourself, uh, you know, because, because you will at that point not only have all your ducks in a row, which you normally do, but whatever this presentation is, whatever this thing is that you're going to be standing up for, it'll be so much larger than you first conceived because the universe will work with you and it will send you um, all the pieces, parts, and you're going to make the greatest Mr. Potato Head that ever has been. So I hope that was helpful. Pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, make sure that you sign up for the daily readings uh, on my YouTube channel. And as always, do good for animals and stay wild.